Hey guys, so a lot of people commented on a past video of mine that they really enjoyed the particular eye look that I was wearing on that day. And so instead of explaining it, I just decided to go ahead and film myself applying it because I've been wearing it a lot lately. And it's a very budget friendly option. So I use a couple of shadows that that I think they each only cost me 15 cents. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, and if you want to see how to get this look, I'm going to show you kind of more a daytime appropriate, and then this is like the nighttime, a little bit more smoky, or maybe filming a video, which is what I use it for. So anyway, I'm glad that you enjoy it, and if you want to see how to get it, then just keep watching. Okay, so I went ahead and already did foundation, primer foundation, concealer, and a little bit of powder. So I just went ahead and tackled those already because um, mostly the interest was in the eye look for this look that I was wearing um, in a few videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to start with, where are you? My eyeshadow primer from Milani. And... This isn't necessarily my favorite, it's just the one I chose to use today. I'm going to show you two versions of this look today. One is going to be slightly more dramatic. So maybe we'll call it a day look and a night look. Actually, it's whatever, whenever you want to wear it look. Because that's what I do. Alright, so... Oh, and the color that's on my nails, before I forget to tell you, this is Revlon Brilliant Strength in the shade Enthrall. And it's just this lovely deep olive with gold shimmer. So that's what that is. Okay, so I've got my eyelids primed. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my crease color. I take my um, my Wet n Wild Walking the Red Carpet palette. This, I love that I picked up just because it is the color that I use it to contour my lids every single day because it's just a really great contour color for me. And it's this one here. And they, they don't individually have names, but um, I use it to contour my lid and also to contour my cheekbones when I want to do that. So it's just a nice color for me, for my very fair skin. So I'm just going to go in here in the crease. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know I do have slightly hooded eyes. So I like to do a pretty good crease contour here. And this is probably going to mostly just get covered up, but I'm just laying it down so that I'll know where my crease is because my crease isn't super obvious with the eye shape that I have so I'm gonna go ahead and put this crease in here pretty good okay okay so now like for my daily looks I might just do that pretty much and blend it out a little bit and then lots of mascara and stuff and that might be just it that's my pretty basic so today we're gonna be looking at some baked shadows so the colors that people went crazy for in this video I'm really really hoping that you're going to be able to find them I picked them up at my Sally Beauty Supply and they are baked shadows and they're metallic sorry I'm still looking for it I think the one that everyone was going nuts for is this red one sorry for the glare um, this is called Brick House, and so it's just, ooh, it's a really nice red there, and I for, I had forgot that I even had this, and I pulled all these colors out, like, randomly for that video, and then the color that I used for all that glow in the middle of my eye is called Rising Star. Now, I picked these up on a clearance, on that 50% clearance sale where you get everything off of red tagged items, so I don't know if these are actually still available. I'm really, really hoping that they are. I'm going to go ahead and film today, um, assuming that you will be able to pick up these shadows because um, I don't really have anything equivalent for them. And it's because of the, I think it's because of the baked eyeshadow nature of these ones um, that makes them so vibrant and metallic looking. So I started out, I did that. Let's see, what did I do next? Oh yeah, I forgot that I did this step. 
I took um, my Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast. <laughs> I'd forgotten about this part. And I just kind of covered this part here. Mm -hmm. I guess that kind of helped it get a little bit shiny already. Okay, so I did that and then, one second. All right, so I put on the Milani and then I took another baked eyeshadow. So I was just trying to work with a bunch of baked stuff. I don't feel that all baked eyeshadows are created equal and I'm going to show you why here. I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush from e.l.f., one of the like denser, small kind. I'm just getting this on here Oh, and this shadow, excuse me, is called Toasted. So I haven't tried a lot of their baked eyeshadows because I've tried the palettes and I didn't love them a lot and then I tried this one. So I just put it on here and just intensified that a little bit. Now, I don't know about you, but those still pretty much look the same to me. And I don't know if it's because the eyeshadow I picked happened to be like almost exactly similar to that Milani shadow, or you know, whatever that stick was I just used. But anyway, I'm just trying to luster it up a little bit, okay? So I started here and I was like, maybe I'll just leave it like that. And then I was like, no, I wanna intensify this a little bit. So then I found this little baby brick house. So we're gonna do some wet and some dry. I didn't do wet yet at this point. I just did, I just was still doing dry. So these kind of, it kind of like falls apart into the pan a little bit as you brush. So I kind of like knock it off and then I sweep it all around to gather my product. And then I just was going in here I took it probably like three-fourths of the way in. Sorry, I hope you can see that. So it's really nice and vibrant and then we're going to blend it out. And then on the corner, I put it in here too. Just trying to like, that's why I laid down the eye primer and then also that sticky base. I'm trying to get it to stick on to that sticky base. Sometimes it feels like shadows, you just put them on and then they just fall right off, right? So, other one. Oh, and this brush I'm using, I don't even know what it is. I'll tell you in a second. Looks like maybe I took that over a little bit too far. But, what ifs? So, red eye shadow is like super trendy right now, especially for autumn. So that's what we were working with. Wow, that is some powerful eyeshadow. I, I'm not sure if I went that vibrant on the day that I was filming that everybody was wondering what I was wearing, but you kind of want that kind of intensity so that you can um, build it or like blend it in and work it down after that. So um, next I took this just big old fluffy blender brush from Mirabella and I didn't tell you the other one I was using was the defining eye brush it's like goes at an angle so anyway I'm just gonna root not that so I'm gonna take this and then I'm just gonna blend this a bunch because I want you to see the red but I don't want it to be like oh that's the only thing I can see on her face is red eyeshadow so blend a long time Okay, and then the thing that really makes this look pop is you don't just stop there. So you're gonna take your Rising Star, and this is like a very, very light, like whitish gold. So then I took just a little small brush. This says it's a concealer brush. I just use it for when I wanna do small stuff. Actually, do I wanna use that brush? We'll just use it for today. Then I'm gonna spray it with some of my e.l.f. makeup mist and 
set spray to get it a little bit wet. And then I'm going to pick up this baked shadow. So, and I'm going to place it right here. And this one wasn't working just to like pat it on. In fact, I don't like this brush for this. It's not working. Switch. We're going to use this big old, we're going to use a slightly fluffier brush. Get it kind of wet. Get a little bit more product on there. This product isn't wanting to pick up today. And then you just are going to put it right here in the middle. And then you just are going to kind of edge it out to the sides, but keeping the majority of it right in the middle. And that is what was going on with my eye in those videos. Just putting that pop of gold in there. So you really didn't see it a lot except for when my eyes were closed. I watched the video back and I was like, I guess that did look kind of okay when my eyes were closed. <laughs> okay, so pretty much the eyeshadow work is done. You can do some, um, some highlighting up there on your brows. I will go ahead and do brows. Actually, let's just go ahead and finish the easier look. So when I'm not going crazy, oh, brows, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light. And sorry about the mirror there. If I'm wanting super defined brows, I'm gonna use this. If I'm wanting both like um, this and then this, if I'm just having kind of a more casual day, I'm just gonna use this. So I'm just gonna use the powder today. We're just going to kind of deepen up some of the sparser areas on my brows. And I also, my brows, like one starts way more in towards the, you know, like unibrow style than the other one. So I just kind of even that up. So I'm darkening up the outsides mostly and then I'm gonna, this is, and this is on simple brow days. And I love powder for brows because it's not as intense. Okay, so this one comes in like way farther. So it comes in to like all the way over here and that one like stops way over. So I have to just bring this one out a little bit. And I'm just going to run just a little bit here. All right. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm not looking very carefully at my brows. I'm not really, you know, I'm just deepening them up because I feel like they definitely define the look. Like they make you look a little bit more put together. So um, that's it. If you want to run a spoolie through them, you can. I don't have like super long brows. Sometimes a spoolie can help you if you've like placed too much product in one spot. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna do for brows today. And then let's put on some mascara. I'm gonna use my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. I love this sucker so bad and I need to get rid of it because I've had it too long. But I can't stand it. I'm attached to this one. And I feel like I don't need to buy a new one because I already have too many mascaras open. So I feel like if I throw this away, I won't buy another one for a while. <laughs> I'll miss it.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. That was just like one coat of mascara. You can pile on a bunch more if you're not doing um, lashes. So easy, um, everyday kind of with a nice autumnal, um, forgot a little bit of blush, with a nice autumnal eye. Mixing a couple shades here from my e.l.f. palette that I was using to Whoa, that's a lot of blush there. Hmm. Well, we're gonna be blushed up today. All right, so daytime, ready to go. Let's do, oh, and I forgot lips. Hello, hello, hello. Let's do um, this nice rosy shade, Rosebud from Wet n Wild. All right, super creamy, easy. I love Wet n Wild lipsticks because they're so easy. Okay, so that's that. If you want to take this a little bit to the next level, what I would do is take your red again and then get a little bit more product back on that red. And drag it under the eye. take like that brown again a nice neutrally brown and then I'd probably kind of <clears throat> add some of that in there to soften it out so you don't want it to be like crazy so that's that and then I would take my eye booster in brown well you could take black too but Brown kind of goes with the autumnal look. Okay, so I just kind of not super intense eyeliner today. fallout today so kind of liking those eyeshadows for that reason and this was for the more intense version I would take a black liner in my waterline And then if you wanted to, you could also take this light white, whitish gold shade. Take a little baby brush and stick it right here. Right there in the corners. Okay, so there's that. And to finish up an intense eye look, you of course have to have lashes. So I'm gonna put them on. That's just gonna take me one second. Ding! So my eyelashes, you know, I just use my Mary Poppins powers today and you know, just put them on just like that. That's how I like to do it lately. Anyway, so that's the full look. Um, you've got your kind of more daytime wear and then this is maybe something more nighttime maybe some for some kind of fun occasion or filming a video um anyway so i hope you enjoyed this look i really hope you're able to find those shadows or something equivalent to them 
probably going to be rocking this look a lot this autumn because I've been looking for that really great red standout shadow that's not like rainbow red but definitely more fall red so like I said again I'm going to list the products in the down bar but this is Brick House by did I even say this is Sally Girl I don't even know if I said that but you can only find this at Sally Beauty Supply I think so anyway, that is the whole look. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I am not really good at makeup <laughs> at all, but I had so many people inquire after the look, so I just decided to go ahead and film it so that you can see what I did, and hopefully if you aren't able to pick up a shadow like that, you can maybe find something similar in your collection or um, maybe something similar at your store that can help you achieve this look. So I'm so glad that so many of you liked it. I'm so glad that you stopped by today and I hope you're having a great one and I'll see you back next time. Bye.